Assalamu alaikum and salam sejahtera to all of you. So for this video, we are going to continue with methods of preparations. And these methods of preparations only focus on alkenes only. Okay. So you have three methods of preparations. Okay, covered for this chapter. The first one is dehydrohalogenations. So, kalau you nampak perkataan DE di depan, okay, macam dehalogenations, okay, dehydrohalogenations, so maksudnya adalah buang, okay, ataupun removal, okay, of hydrohalogenations means that hydro is hydrogens, Halogenation is X group, is whether Cl or Br. So, meaning that for these reactions, we will remove HX, which is HCl or HBr. Okay. For the second reactions, which is dehalogenations of dihalide, okay. So, meaning that we are going to remove halogens. Okay. So, halogens saja maksudnya X group. And then, awak tengok dekat bawah ni, dia adalah di highlight. So, bila di highlight bermaksud, dua highlight group. So, itu adalah X2. So, kita akan remove X2. And then, the third one is the reductions of alkyne. So, maksudnya starting from alkyne and the reduction reactions occur. So, akan menghasilkan double bond. Okay. For this one, daripada akil highlight. Okay. And the removal of H and X. So, will produce an alkene. Okay. For this one, is removal of X2 will produce alkene from dihalide. Okay. So, next, dehydrohalogenations of akil highlight. So, this is example. Okay, you have X group here. Okay, this is your X group. And then you have your H. So, hydrogens yang dibuang, mestilah hydrogens daripada carbon bersebelahan dengan X group. Okay, kalau X group awak ada dekat sini, so hydrogen yang boleh dibuang hanyalah pada Hydrogens neighbor dia. Okay, yang bersebelahan. So, this is eliminations of hydrogens and halogens from akil halide. So, bila kita remove uh, hydrogen dengan halogens yang kat sini. So, carbon yang this one yang ada hydrogen warna biru ni. And the carbon that uh, previously ada X group. Masing-masing akan lack of one uh, bonding. So, untuk stabilize, dia ada jadi empat bonding semula. So, akan berlaku formations of double bond. So, the reagent needed is the sodium hydroxide in ethanol ataupun potassium hydroxide in ethanol juga. Okay. So, for example, kalau awak ada contoh, eh. Okay, you ada Br di sini. So, kita reactkan dia dengan sodium hydroxide and ethanol. Okay. So, dekat sini awak punya X group. So, you boleh buang hydrogen sama ada from this carbon ataupun this carbon sahaja. Sebab carbon A dan carbon B adalah neighbor to carbon yang ada Br ni. So, in other words, you locate locations of BR awak. Okay, you tahu location of BR awak berada di sini. So, what you have to do is check kanan dan kiri dia. Okay, if there ada another carbon di atas ni, let's say dekat atas ni pun ada. So, you can check juga that carbon. Okay, so ingat eh, mesti yang berjiran sahaja. The neighbor. Um, atoms.
Okay, hydrogen atoms. Okay, so for dehydrohalogenation reaction, since they melibatkan removal of hydrogen, so we need to consider the Sazaf rules. Okay, so what is Sazaf rule? Okay, Sazaf rules state that elimination products that favor formations of an alkene with greatest number of substituents attached to the C double bond C group. So meaning that carbon with greater substituents will become the major products while the other one akan jadi dia punya minor products. So apa yang dimasukkan dengan greatest number of substituents? Okay. So for example, this one. Okay. This is your BR. So like I said before, you have to check Okay, these two carbon, neighboring carbon. Okay, next thing what you have to do is to uh, classify that carbon. Okay, for this carbon, okay, I label as A, it's only attached to another one carbon, which is the carbon that have BR group. So that's why the category can be as a primary carbon. But then for the B carbon, this one, Okay, attached to another two carbons. So this one we consider as secondary carbon. So the more substituents carbon, okay, is a carbon with less number of hydrogens. So there are two ways to identify your major products is whether to classify your carbon based on primary, secondary, or tertiary, or based on the total hydrogen's number attached to each carbon. Okay, so increased number of hydrogen attached to the carbon means that that carbon is less stable. Okay, so but hydrogens is not considered as substituents. Tapi carbon considered as substituents. So for this case, Kalau kita tengok carbon B ni, dia cuma ada dua hydrogens. Okay. Carbon 1 dia ada tiga hydrogens. So, B lebih stable. So, that's why formations of double bond antara carbon yang ada BR tadi dan juga carbon yang B tadi akan producing a major products. While the uh, formations of double bond between the primary and this carbon akan producing a minor product. Okay, so I give you another example. Okay, for example, we have this structure. Okay, Br. Okay, and then undergo reactions with sodium hydroxide and ethanol. Okay, so step yang you kena buat adalah locate your Br group. Okay, next thing adalah check kiri and kanan dia. And classify. So, this carbon attached to 1, 2. So, this one is secondary carbon. Okay, and this one, okay, attached to 1, 2, 3 carbon. So, this one is a tertiary carbon. So, definitely tertiary more stable than secondary. So, bila you nak lukis product, Okay, jangan ubah apa-apa kecuali locations of BR. Okay, so you redraw semula structure asal. Okay, plus sebab kita nak buat major dengan minor. Okay, redraw balik structure jangan ubah apa-apa. Okay, locations antara BR dengan jiran dia. Okay, kat situ you tambah double point. Okay, so tadi BR ada kat sini, so tambah lagi satu belah kiri. Tadi dah tambah kanan, so yang ni tambah kiri. Okay, so ini yang tertiary, this one with the secondary. So this one you label as major products and this one it is a minor products. Okay, another example. Okay, 
first step adalah locate dulu you punya highlight group. This is your highlight group. And then you have to check dia punya kiri dan dia punya kanan. Okay. So, next classify. Okay, satu, dua. So, secondary. And belah kanan ni you kira cover ni. Yang ini. Satu, dua, tiga, empat. So, this is quaternary. Quaternary carbon do not have any hydrogen. Okay, contoh macam ni lah. Okay, quaternary carbon semuanya adalah C. Okay, CH3, 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 CH3. This is another example. So, quaternary carbon attached dengan empat carbon. So, there is no hydrogen. So, bila tak ada hydrogen, kita tak boleh nak remove hydrogen. Okay. So, meaning that, hanya satu produk saja yang akan terbentuk. Salin balik structure, jangan ubah apa-apa. So, sini adalah locations BR rawak. So, belah kanan tak boleh buat formations of double bond because this carbon do not have any hydrogens. So, meaning that, hanya akan terbentuk satu produk dengan carbon yang ini. Okay, which is di sini. Okay. So, means that yang ini you tak ada major, you tak ada minor products. So, but that one is the only product that can be produced from this reaction. This is another example. Sama juga, this is you punya BR. So, you check kanan dengan kiri carbon dia. Okay. So, this one ada tiga hydrogens. Okay. So, ini adalah primary carbon. So, this one ada dua hydrogen. So, dia adalah secondary carbon. Okay, so major product will be with the secondary. Yang ini akan menghasilkan you punya minor products. So, you dapatlah macam ni. Ingat eh, uh, other parts of the structure you kena remain. So, CH3 remain sebab tak terlibat. CH kena buang satu hydrogen. Okay, so formation of double point. Ini hilang. CH ada sebab yang kita remove adalah BR. So, and the last one not included. So, remain as CH3. So, this one adalah untuk major products. So, untuk minor sama juga. You salin balik CH3. Okay. And then the next one tidak terlibat. So, dia akan jadi CH2. Okay, sebab untuk minor product kita remove hydrogens yang hujung belah sini. Okay. So that's why dekat situ tak involve untuk uh, pembuangan hydrogen. So CH memang akan hilang BR. So tinggal CH. And then this akan hilang satu BR. Sorry, hydrogen. So akan jadi formation of double bond dengan CH2. So this one adalah for the minor products. Okay. So that one is for the hydrohalogenations and also the SETZF rules. SETZF rules only applicable if you want to remove the hydrogens. Okay. Means that one of the atom that you want to remove is hydrogens. So, we have to consider the SETZF rule. If you not remove dua-dua adalah BR2. So, we don't need the SETZF rule. Kita tak perlukan SETZF. Alright. So we continue with the next video. Okay, thank you.